Hi guys, I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today is all about Paula and Paris' newest bag, the number seven. I asked you guys on MMQA if you'd be interested in seeing a dedicated video on this bag, and many of you said yes, so thank you so much for that. So today I wanna be able to provide you with more information, such as measurements, and also be able to share my first impression because I have been using it for the last couple of days. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up, and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right. First things first, Paula and Paris was incredibly gracious and they sent me two of their newest bags so that way I can try them out and be able to provide them with feedback. And I will talk about that a little bit later on in the video. So as I mentioned, this is their newest bag, the number seven. It is also available in the mini size, but as far as the measurements on this bag goes, I have um, quite a bit to get through and I wrote it all down because I don't want to leave anything out. So if you see me looking down, you know why. As far as the measurements on this one, it is approximately nine inches in length, 8.25 inches in height, and 4.7 inches in depth. Now this bag weighs 1.6 pounds and I always like to mention the weight whenever it comes to doing these types of videos because I feel like the weight of a handbag can either make or break you wanting to add it to your collection because if it's too heavy on its own and then you start to add your items inside it can make for a very heavy handbag, you know what I mean? So that way I feel like you have a better idea of what you can expect to be going on either crossbody or on your shoulder once you start to add your items aside. So 1.6 pounds. Um, now this bag does feature an adjustable strap as I mentioned on Minx Monday as well as my IG stories. The adjustable strap is not removable. However, it does have four different adjustments. Hang on, I'm trying to get <laughs> trying to get a little bit situated here. It does have four different adjustments. Um, there we go. This bag also features a little top handle that allows you to either use it on the crook of your arm or as a hand carry bag and it is removable so that way this bag has a lot more versatility. Not only can you use it on the crook of your arm as a hand carry bag, you can use it crossbody or on your shoulder which I think is really great. But back to this adjustable strap, it is one, it's approximately one inch, um, one inch wide. And I love the fact that it does have a wider strap because in my opinion, it makes it a lot more comfortable. That way, if you are carrying a little bit more with you, you don't have this itty bitty little strap that's gonna be digging into your skin or anything like that, you know what I mean? Um, okay, now as far as the strap drop on this little handle, it is three and a half inches. And as far as the adjustment goes, um, because it does have four different adjustments, it can either go from 37 inches to 43 inches. Now, I personally like to use this bag on the last adjustment on me it ends up working out on my body frame and I find it to be the most comfortable. And I also wanted to share that measurement with you. So if you were to measure from the top of the strap to the top of the bag on the last setting, the strap drop is 20 and a half, uh, 20 and a half inches. Um, so there we go. Okay, and so let me show you guys just the exterior of it. There is the front side of it. It does have this very simple closure to get in and out of it. Uh, and there's a little handle. And as far as their hardware, all of it has pollen engraved on it, which I love that beautiful little detail. Um, and it is the, I believe it's gold plated stainless steel, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So there's the front side of it, very simple, very structured. There is a side view of it. There is the other side view. There is the back side. Um, it doesn't have any exterior pockets. And as you can see, that's where the adjustable strap feeds through. And there is the bottom. It doesn't have any feet. Now, as far as getting in and out of the bag, as I mentioned, you do have this beautiful little clasp that you end up pulling and you're able to open it up. And then on the inside, it does have this gorgeous suede interior, one little slip pocket, and it does have those gussets on the sides. Uh, so it kind of has like the accordion style. And it also has this little ring here so that way you can either use it for either a bag charm or for your keys or uh, you know for anything else that you need. So there we go. Now this bag is available in six different colors. It is handmade in Spain. Uh, and as I mentioned, it does have the gold plated stainless steel clasp. Um, it also has the smooth full grain leather. So there we go. 
Now, as far as first impressions go, as I mentioned earlier, I have been using this bag for the last couple of days. I haven't used the burgundy one. It's only been the black. And so far, so far, I absolutely love it. I love it. Now, I gotta admit, there were two features on this bag that made me a little bit nervous. The first one being the smooth leather. I love and I appreciate smooth leather. It is absolutely beautiful. However, it also has a tendency to show wrinkles and scratches very easily. Now, I don't wanna have to baby my bags whatsoever. You know, I wanna be able to get out there and use it without having to put it in this bubble or anything like that. So. I really want to see if this bag is going to work out for my lifestyle. Uh, so when I saw the smooth leather, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. But what if it ends up wrinkling? What if this? What if that? And of course, uh, also with the design that the bag has, if, it, if you're constantly getting in and out of it, you might end up seeing wrinkles on the backside, right? So after the first couple of days that I used it, I got to tell you, I have yet to see a wrinkle or a scratch on this bag. <laughs> this bag looks like I haven't used it uh, either on the front side. There are no scratches, no wrinkles or on the back side. There we go. And uh, I will never forget, we were uh, we were coming out of the store and I went to reach for the bag and I felt my nail bed just kind of crop, like glide across this front side. And I was like, oh man, oh man, I scratched it. I scratched it. I looked down. There were no scratches. We are all good. So, you know, of course, I've had it for a short amount of time, and the more and more that I use it, then I'll be able to provide you guys with updates, you know, as, uh, as the time comes. But so far, no issues with scratches, no issues with wrinkles or anything like that. And that makes me very, very happy. Now, the other feature, it didn't necessarily make me nervous, but I did wonder how secure it was going to be. That is the closure because it does have this beautiful, very simple closure. And I did wonder if this was going to be too sensitive to the point that if you are in a crowded area, if just by bumping it, it ends up opening up on its own. That has not been the case. This little closure here, it's very easy to get in and out of, so it's not fussy, which I absolutely appreciate. It's not fussy. It also has a snap, a very, a very uh, noticeable snap when you know that your handbag is secure. And I love that because if you end up carrying a little bit more with you, as we all know I do, uh, I don't have to worry that if I'm carrying too much, that if I do end up carrying this on the crook of my arm or as a hand carry bag, that it's going to open up on its own. So it does have a very secure, um, a very secure closure that you don't have to worry is too sensitive. If you end up like kind of touching it on the sides that it's going to open up, not at all. You do end up having to hold this guy and then very easy, it opens up and you wait for that snap. So that way all of your items um, once again are secure. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention about that opening is that uh, I was leaving the store and I didn't end up closing the bag. Uh, I had it open and um, I thought that maybe if I left it open that all of my items were going to fly out. That wasn't the case either because even when this bag is open like this, it has enough clearance uh, on the top part here that you don't have to worry that it's too low that all of your items are going to fall out. And I will show you guys a little bit better when I put my items in here so you can see uh, what I end up carrying. So I like the fact that if you wanted to, you can carry it this way and you don't have to worry that your items are going to fall out. Of course, if you want that added security, which I absolutely love and appreciate, the fact that you have that snap and that you can hear that snap um, ensures that your bag uh, is, uh, is closed. But there we go. So, so far, so good. I've been enjoying it uh, to the fullest. And I do find that sometimes I do like to use it on, um, you know, crossbody. Sometimes I do like to use it on the crook of my arm. So the fact that this bag does have so much versatility makes me happy. So that way I can incorporate it into various aspects of my life. And I'm not limited to only being able to carry it this way or that way, you know? And uh, I love the fact that this strap doesn't roll off of my shoulder either, whether um, yeah, I am carrying a little bit more with me because there's nothing that drives me more insane than when I have a handbag on my shoulder and after like 20 seconds, it ends up just you know flying off or sliding off. That drives me nuts. So I have not experienced that with this handbag. Um, but um, like I said, so far, so good. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy that they incorporate 
incorporated this style and this silhouette into their um, into their lineup, you know, because it gives you a little bit, I don't know, I feel like it's understated, it's an understated beauty um, and the simplicity just speaks volumes, which is something that I have always, always appreciated. I also wanna show you what I've been carrying in here just to give you a better visual. So currently it is empty and uh, there is the interior and I don't really end up using uh, that little pocket too often either. Uh, so I have a total of five small leather goods and my, uh, and my phone. The first one is the Chanel Beauty CC pouch. All right, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> the Louis Vuitton mini pochettes. The Louis Vuitton key pouch. The Louis Vuitton round coin purse. The Chanel six key holder. And last but not least. All right, and voila. There we go. As you can see, you can still end up fitting a few other slender, small other goods and maybe some loose lipsticks if you wanted to as well. Uh, but there's a better shot of it. And uh, when it's fully, I mean, I have pretty much everything in here. I'm still able to close it. I don't have any awkward lumps and bumps or anything like that. And remember what I was talking about earlier that if you don't end up snapping it shut, you don't have to worry that your items are going to fall out. Let me, let me show you. There we go. So because uh, this top flap does end up covering the first little gusset or the first pocket, you don't have to worry that in the event that you forget to close it, that your items are going to fall out or anything like that. So, you know, I've said it before, sometimes I'm forgetful, um, sometimes I'm very, very clumsy or what have you. So the fact that if I, if I didn't end up snapping it shut, I don't have to worry that all my stuff is going to go flying out. But there we go. Uh, but all in all, I absolutely love this bag and um, I love the structure, I love the simplicity, I love the versatility. Now I also wanna share uh, what it looks like on my body frame. Let me incorporate some mod shots. For reference, I am five foot five. The last thing that I want to talk about is what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and that's the fact that Pauline sent me both of these bags so that way I can provide them with feedback. The reason why I wanted to highlight this is because not only do I love and appreciate the craftsmanship of their products, but I love and appreciate the way that this company does business. And I have been in contact with the PR person from Pauline after I bought and I did an unboxing on my number one mini. And in that time, they have sent me bags uh, you know, throughout that time, not once, not once has this company ever asked me to make a video. Not once have they asked me to make a post. Not once have they said what I can or cannot say. They have always just asked me to provide them with feedback. And uh, that to me is absolutely amazing and that speaks volumes of the type of company that they are. Because nowadays, of course, no company wants negative publicity on any of their products. I completely understand that. However, it's important to me to be able to provide people with as much information as possible, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the fact that there's a company out there that supports the way that I do run my channel just makes me insanely, insanely happy. You know, I don't have any affiliate links to their website. I don't have any sponsored videos. I've never been paid, I'm nothing absolutely nothing. I do these videos because I want to be able to provide more information. I want to be able to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. I want to be able to share what makes me nervous when it comes to certain handbags. You know what I mean? So the fact that they support me, I think is incredible. And it's something that I feel needs to be out there because there aren't very many companies that, uh, that are willing to do that. So I, I love them for, for the way that they do business. And, uh, you know, there have been bags that they've sent me in the past that haven't worked out for me. And the fact that I've been able to relay that to you guys and say, you know what, I really don't like this feature or I love that feature uh, without having to, without the, you have to say this, you can't say that. I mean, has been, <laughs> it's been absolutely wonderful. But that does it for my review, my in-depth um, chit chat, if you will, on Pauline's number seven. As I said before, I absolutely love it and I do look forward to keeping you guys updated on how the leather ends up wearing, how the hardware ends up wearing and all of that good stuff. Uh, but so far I am having a blast and it checks off so many marks that it looks that I look for when it comes to handbags. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.